Hey, what is up guys, how's it going? It's your boy, the Crappy Crapto here and welcome to Minecraft India Season 3 and I think this would be the 6th episode of this series but guys, before I start I want to this video I do want to apologize to you guys because I was gone and uh, yeah, this channel was literally dead <laughs> as I was not uploading any videos so I guess I'm finally back now and uh, will be able to upload new videos regularly. So hopefully, finger crossed. Okay, <laughs> I know I uh, say this every time and uh, delete them videos uh, afterwards. But I guess finally I'm back and I guess I'll be able to keep up with my words this time. So yeah, guys sorry as i wasn't uploading videos regularly but finally or uh, hopefully i am back and uh, i'm looking forward to upload regular contents to this channel so yeah guys with all this said uh, i want to start the video by giving you guys a little bit of tour of our blacksmith's house so if you haven't watched our previous video yet we actually built our village blacksmith's house right here so this is the blacksmith's house that you can see right here and uh, over here is a little bit of shed where our blacksmith puts all his fire uh, wood so the blacksmith will definitely need a lot of wood in order to keep this giant furnace uh, running so he needs this furnace in order to you know mold all his iron and uh, save them using this animal to make some tools or something so this is the outdoor workstation where the blacksmith would spend most of the, his time uh, forging and molding all his tools and uh, yeah this thing this place i mean this outdoor uh, workstation came out really well i quite like it and so this set gives a little bit of vibe to it and uh, in the previous episode we actually didn't complete the um, interior but uh, in in between this time i actually completed the interior so this room right here would be the storage room where our uh, blacksmith will you know store all his finished products or the raw items over here and over here is a little bit of uh, blast furnace in case he needs to uh, do a little bit of adjustment so yes. so he just use this room uh, just to store his tools and uh, raw items but uh, if in any case he needs to you know give a little bit of facing touch to his tools he comes here and you know gives it a little bit of uh, touch so yeah guys this is the interior and i think this interior looks real good yeah guys let me know in the comments do you like it or not so yeah guys this is the basically the ground floor or basically the workstation for our um, blacksmith where he can work and yeah and uh, i have made a little bit of sign so people can know that this is the blacksmith's house slash shop so the people can come here and buy his tools for from our blacksmith and over here is a little bit of soft i am actually not quite happy of how it has turned out but i think it's all right it's not that bad either so yeah this is a little bit of soft where he has a soft keeper who takes care of his soft and sells tools and stuffs to our villagers so as you can see there are few uh, tools i'm using some iron bars to you know uh, show that these are some kind of tools that are stored you know in order to showcase in these shelves i hope my english is you know at least enough that you can you guys can understand so we have some armors some tools yeah i think it's looking well and i think it came out really well and over is over here is a little bit of counter where the shopkeeper will just stand and yeah let me know I think it came out really well actually a little bit of carpet over here and over here is a little bit of bedroom in case uh, someone to spend a chill night here you know so they can just relax over here in this bedroom if it gets lit so yeah guys this is our blacksmith's house and uh, i have completed its interior in between these uh, episodes and yeah guys i think it came out uh, really well and over here guys you can 
notice by now that uh, this is a new building that i have been working on so it wasn't uh, here in the previous episode so i was actually working on this project and it's actually taking a lot of time than i thought it would take so this is actually will be the you know landlord's house of our village where the landlord or maybe the mayor landlord mayor whatever will live here so basically this would be my new base for my survival needs right i have a small house currently but i'm going to sit to here and i'll be the landlord of this village everybody should kneel before me and uh, yeah so yeah guys i wanted to make it feel like a little bit of a small castle kind of a thing so we have a little bit of watchtower and um, i thought it would be a great idea if we use pink as the main flag color of our village because um we actually found our natural generated pink sheep so the first sheep that i found was actually a pink sheep so i thought it would be a great idea if we you know incorporate that uh, theme or idea in our bills as well so as you can see this is the watchtower in case uh, uh, our landlord needs some protection because of course his landlords and maybe people are not happy with him so he definitely needs someone to look after his property so, interior is not completely done i have to do the interior so yeah guys let me just finish it real quick and then give you guys uh the final tour of our no i mean the completed tour of this uh, landlord's house so yeah guys i think it's about night time and yeah guys um i want to tell you guys that actually mind some that oh, oh we already have someone to interfere right always always so the thing i was saying is that guys i actually was mining for diamonds and i actually got a lot of diamonds and used i used the fortune 3 diamond pickaxe to get uh, i think for 54 diamonds out of around i think uh, 26 diamonds and i spent all the diamonds in our shopping district buying uh, armor sets tools and even elytra we bought an elytra uh, with 30 diamonds which had um uh, mending and unbreaking three but guess what guys uh, i was collecting some uh, mossy cobblestone in over there on that uh, taiga biome uh, but <laughs> it turned into night time and as i was uh, flying through the jungle i hit a tree and actually died and i had no idea where i died so i looked uh, here and there but i couldn't find our stuff so i guess they just despawned and i actually lost all of our diamond tools including the fortune 3 pickaxe elytra and everything i think the only thing we have is the chest plate uh, luckily i wasn't wearing well <laughs> we uh, were collecting the mossy cobblestones but yeah it's okay guys we can actually go again start mining because the prices in our shopping districts is actually very very cheap by cheap i mean you can get a full uh, diamond set armor in two diamonds i guess <laughs> so uh, yeah it's not a big deal i guess the only problem i guess is the elytra because elytra is actually quite hard and rare to get one so i hope they actually refilled their stock i hope <laughs> so i can buy again another one and over there is a creeper so yeah guys and let me just uh, finish its interiors and some of its stuff and I, I will just give you guys a little bit of tour of this place real quick. And my friend, I'm finally back and back with some series and god damn this place looks dope. So here it is guys, I have completed the rest of the interiors and some uh, more added details to it. So let's just give you guys a little bit of tour of this place. So I will 
quite happy how this place turned out more than happy actually i'm very 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 satisfied of how this place has turned out so this would be the final <laughs> So this would be the front entrance of our landlord's house. So this would be the place where the landlord, aka the graphic crafter, would live and drive, of course. So yeah, guys, this would be my new home. The landlord's home. You should just kneel before me because I'm the landlord. I mean, I'm the landlord of this place. Okay. So here it is, guys. This is the front uh, gate. So if we go here, there you can see two doors open to wide so that we can go inside and here it is a little bit of courtyard of our um potified uh, small castle kind of a vibe that we are having right here and uh, over here we have a small well in case our landlord feels a little bit thirsty so he can take some water out of this well and uh, you know satisfy his thirst <clears throat> Anyway, so yeah guys, this is the main building where um, I would live, I mean the landlord would live here and this would be the uh, small building which is belong to the um, servants of uh, our landlord. So this is basically a servants quarter where um, the servants would live and over here we have a little bit of stable when where our landlord can put all his horses so there are two only this is not so big i want to make it a little bit small kind of you know um fortified house so yeah our landlord can feel feel safe inside his home right and over here we have a small watch tower and beside it we have we have this small um seating area where there are some logs stored in case and the landlord uh, needs some firewood in his furnace or his uh, fireplace so yeah guys let's just go inside this watchtower so i think i haven't completed thank you I mean, there are not much to add in this tower so here it is a little bit some stone area where maybe i can put some brewing stand or something over here and yeah it's kind of yeah nothing there is not much space over here so this is basically the ground floor and it only has two levels of this tower it's not that tall but it is all right enough to keep and watch over your you know fellow villagers so yeah guys we can look over here over there over there and also inside of the courtyard of courtyard of our uh, lawn louds house so yeah guys so let's just get down and uh, let's go over here so this area over here is a small kitchen not a small actually it's a big uh, oven we have here so this would be the kitchen or the room where the servants will cook food for their landlords so yeah so this is a small uh, kitchen room which has its own door in case our servant has to go outside to gather some stuff and shit uh, so children don't have to use the front gate obviously so yeah guys i think it came out really well and this would be the main house and this would be the main gate of our um, landlord's house so if we open this door just like that we have a carpet to welcome us and over here is a big dining table where our landlord will eat with his family okay so yeah guys and uh, obviously over here is the kitchen where all the servants mix all kind of food for their landlords so yeah guys and we have another floor that is here and this is a living room small living room but enough for people to sit here and chill anyway so this is the drawing room of our drawing slash live living room of our landlord's house and over here is the bedroom of our landlord where we have a queen sized bed so that our um, landlord can spread his leg and i mean spread his leg and sleep peacefully okay don't get me wrong so yeah and over here a little bit of you know like kind of a uh you know to make this uh room a little bit warm so we have this uh fireplace or chimney or whatever small added added details obviously and over here we have this um closet where we have some uh, item frames not item frames but uh, armor 
stands with some golden armors why golden armors because we are rich so yeah guys this is the first floor of our landlord's house now we have this uh, attic over here i think i haven't completed the interior of this attic yeah it's <laughs> completely empty so do forgive me for this but uh, yeah let's move on to uh, our next building which will be the house or the quarter servant quarter of our landlord's uh, house where they would uh, live with their family so here we have a small uh, the door just closed in front of my face what's wrong with you door get some help again no so over here we have a little uh, table to chairs in case you know they need to eat or just talk about some stuff and over here is a little kitchen in case they want to cook their own food so yeah guys and this ladder leads to the upper floor of our servants quarter where we have some tables again and some sitting area and yeah guys there is also another room where we have a bunk bed where our two uh, servants can sleep and over here is the armor stand and he forgot to put some armor on it but it is all right so yeah guys the interior is not much here because they are, you know, they are not so rich and uh, um, prefers a simpler life compared to our landlord which is me i like the luxurious life okay and over here is a little bit of garden using some um double tall flowers and also he has some bamboo so yeah guys so as you can see i've used some uh white terracotta to give it this pinky uh, kind of feels that matches with our flag and gives the perfect vibe that we need and i think guys it's night time so let me just turn it into daytime because as you can see they're creepers they're monsters that might beat the seat out of ourselves so yeah guys let me just uh, turn it into daytime time real quick and let me sleep my head like that so yeah guys that is our landlord's house what do you think guys i think it came out really well and over here is a little bit of chimney so it gives a little bit of vibe and uh, i think let me just bring our horse where is horsey sama oh dear you were horsey sama actually he is very angry that i took his uh, card but don't worry horsey sama i will bring you new card don't worry but for now just stay inside my uh, stable okay guys there we go our horsey sama is now here in the safe okay he now live here peacefully and uh, yeah this is his this is his uh, new home now and I think he is quite happy actually he's not he's very angry that I took off you know his uh, card that I made so the card was actually over here so he had to remove it because it was blocking our landlord's uh, gate so our landlord was quite angry so yeah guys this is all that I have for our landlord's house let me know in the comments what you think on this uh landlord's house do you like it or not do you like it or not okay just comment down below and my friends that should be all for our today's video and i hope you do like the video and if you do do not forget to give a like and if you're new to this channel do not forget to give me a sub that would help me a lot but guys that is all i have time for this video i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and bye bye Bye-bye.